Hello and welcome. And as Archangel Michael says, heaven high, heaven high, heaven high, instead of hello, get it? Heaven high. So <laughs> I invite you to type heaven high. You can spell high however you like um, as you join us and arrive here. And this is day five of our five days of Michaelmas. Woohoo! So thank you to everyone who's been joining us. And it's just been such a joy. And we get to have one more special celebration today. So let me just take care of making sure that I can see your comments because sometimes they don't show up on the computer, but they do show up on trusty little iPhone. So I'm going to get that set up here. Hey, Joy is here. Heaven high, Joy. Heaven high, V. Heaven high, Amy. Great to see all of you. And I am glad that I'm seeing your comments there. Yay. So I love when technology works. Technology is my friend. Technology is my friend. Technology is my friend. I don't know if you've heard that I used to have terrible challenges with technology. A lot of people who run a lot of powerful spiritual energy have that issue. And now I don't anymore. Yay. And so actually, those of you who are in wisdom school or are about to be in wisdom school, you actually get an audio to help you heal your relationship with technology. It's called technology is my friend. Yay. So look for that if you need that one. It'll be in there with your wisdom school goodies. So what we get to do today, I'm going to share a song, an angel song that's probably never been heard anywhere before because maybe a handful of people have ever heard it. It's an original little, just a sweet little song for the angels that came to me. Wow. I want to say 22, 23 years ago. That's amazing, right? Because I'm remembering where I was living and it had to have been that time. Right? So um, I'm guided to share my little angel song with you. I hope you would like to hear a sweet little invocation song to the angels. Uh, we're going to get to do that. We're going to do a little bit of a romp and review recap, kind of reviewing and celebrating what we've been doing and learning and remembering and sharing so far in our first four days. And then we're going to have our drum roll, please. Get your drumming fingers ready <laughs> or your actual drums. I have a lot of drums. <laughs> um, and we're going to have our giveaway. So the way the giveaway works is I know who's been entered in the giveaway. And by the way, so far, all three of you, uh, your names are in the giveaway. Joy, V, and Amy, you are among the people whose names are already entered in the giveaway. Isn't that cool? Um, and anyone who um, is here live when I draw who it is for the giveaway, you will have a choice to indicate. Well, I'll tell you when we get to that. But anyway, it's best to be here live if you can. If you're not here live, you can still get a prize, but you have a little more say so over what prize you get <laughs> if you're here live. So it's great that you ladies are here. Yay. Um, and everyone is open to being selected for the giveaway prizes. Um, whether you are a former Wisdom School student, you've never been a Wisdom School student and you maybe never will, or you are thinking of becoming a Wisdom School student, or you're a new Wisdom School student, doesn't matter what your uh, enrollment level is with Wisdom School, just the fact that you're here at Jupiter Tribe of Light community and you've been participating actively makes you qualify for the giveaway. So um, yeah, and after the giveaway, uh, we'll have some more um, sharings with you. And so let's jump in. Woohoo! And um, Martha is here. Wonderful, fantastic. And Rhoda is here. That's great. Wonderful to see you. Yay. And I'm sure some more folks are jumping in. And remember that you can share this. Share this on your Facebook wall if you're not hiding your spirituality. <laughs> Share it to your friends. You can message this link out. You can also send um, the replay link from either the Facebook group um, or from the YouTube. And there's no opt-in required to see this. So people to be here part of it live, you would need to be in the Facebook group. Um, and in replay, you can be in the YouTube or the Facebook group. So, hi, Gaia Man. What a cool 
name, you know, you should really connect anyone who calls himself and who the universe called Gaia man should connect with Mark Goddard, which is my twin flame over here, husband Whoa. back there, and um, he is an embodiment of the green man, so you guys should friend each other. <laughs> Wonderful. So let's start with our angel song, shall we? That's going to be fun. I'm excited to share that with you. So here we go. <clears throat> and you can just enjoy and listen. Listen and glisten, as Archangel Michael likes to say, and I like to say. Angels, angels, be with me, oh. Angels, angels, heavenly, oh. Angels, angels, be with me, oh. Angels, blessed be. Angels, angels, be with me, oh. Angels, angels, heavenly, oh. Angels, angels, be with me, oh. Angels, blessed be. Angels, angels, be with us, oh, angels, angels, sacred trust, oh, angels, angels, be with us, oh, angels, sacred trust, angels, angels, be with us, oh, angels, angels, sacred trust, oh, angels, angels, be with us, oh, angels, sacred trust, and one more of me, angels, angels, be with me, oh, angels, angels, Heavenly, oh, angels, angels, be with me, oh, angels, blessed be. Thank you for allowing me to share Angels Be With Me from Here's the Stage, many, many blessings. Mwah. I hope that touched your heart. Um, let me know. I'm seeing from one person that they can hear very well. My mic is on. My fancy schmancy mic. Um, so give me a thumbs up if you can hear reasonably well. And if you can't, let me know. And I can see what else I can do. I could just move my mic a little closer. That's what I can do. And maybe I just need to project more. Like I'm on a stage and you're way out here. I'm not usually that dramatic and operatic, although Archangel Michael certainly is. <laughs> if any of you have ever heard Archangel Michael channel through me, I can't speak to how he comes through with anyone else, but I know with me, he is often loud. <laughs> and he is very big and bright and has big, powerful, sparkly gold and blue light, sometimes white too. So let me know how that's going for you guys. You get a Hmm, not seeing the comments at the moment. Technology is my friend. Let's see if I can see. So let me know if you can hear me or not. Okay, so let's see here. So the last comment I see is just from Joy saying she can't hear very well. So um, I hope you can hear me. Let me know if you guys can hear me. I'm going to keep rolling along and I'm going to trust that my friend Facebook is recording this and that you can hear me live and also Memorex, so to speak. <laughs> I remember those commercials. Replay Land. So hi everybody in Replay Land. I'm sending love to you as well. Um, so V, how did you like the song? Could you hear the song pretty well? I know my voice gets a little soft when I sing sometimes. But hopefully you could hear the song. 
so you will let me know with your fingers. So what did we do so far with our five days of Michael Moss? At first, when Archangel Michael whispered that in my inner ear, I thought, well, what can we do for five whole days? <laughs> and then he said, pick up a pen, right? And he told me exactly what we're doing, like a general sort of framework each day. Some of you who um, are in wisdom school, you know that once a month in our wisdom school Facebook group, we have a new event that just started a few months ago um, in Corona times because everyone needed more support and still needs more support. So um, instead of just having two sessions a month, we now have three. And the third one is called Winging It with Sage and Archangel Michael. Um, so those of you who have ever attended a Winging It, you know that we would literally wing it. <laughs> So it's like we show up and we get out of the way. You can hear me well. Okay, yay. Thank you, Amy. Oh, good. The, oh, thank you so much for saying it was amazing. Thank you. That is so, so, so sweet. That's so sweet. Um, I will put that song for those of you who have the honor and blessing and calling to be in wisdom school. I'll put it in the song section of wisdom school. I think that would be great. Uh, so what we, what did we do in Michael Moss? So who remembers? You guys can answer these questions too, right? It's good to review because it helps you remember and it also helps you integrate and make it more real. So on day one, we talked about what is Michael Moss? And I'd love to hear from you guys too, those of you who fought even just one other day. We, we had four other days and so there's a total of five videos, including this one, which is happening right now or did happen. <laughs> Time travel is fun, isn't it? Um, I'd love to hear just what stood out for you, like what your favorite moments were. And also, if you have requests for next year, for the five days of Michael Moss next year, some of your favorite parts, I would love to hear that. So tell me, because I'm totally open to your feedback. And so on day one, we talked about what is Michael Moss, and we also explored more about Archangel Michael and about the three spheres and the nine different types of angels. Do you guys remember that? That was a little surprising, right? Were some of you a bit mind blown that there were that many types of angels? I think most people think of angels and archangels and wow, there's seven other types. Um, so that's really cool. And if you haven't seen that day one, you might really want to rewatch that. So I encourage you guys to go back and, you know, a lot of the information that we shared and the inspiration that we shared is timeless. It's not only useful at Michael Moss, right? And we talked about Michael. Yes, we did. Absolutely. Exactly. So that was our day one. Um, and our, I believe on day one, I shared part of my vow, right? Wasn't that on day one, you guys? My vow that I made to Archangel Michael at the tour in Glastonbury. I think I shared that with you on day one. Um, and then day two, we had channeling from Archangel Michael, which was kind of a blending of a re-energization of the Michaelmas channeling from last year and live channeling. So he added quite a bit new to it this year and absolutely fully beamed his love and his light and his wisdom and his healing for all of us. So, and we always suggest, we means Archangel Michael and I, <laughs> we always suggest that you re-listen and re-listen to the channelings. Many people find that the audio, uh, audio or video are the most powerful, but some people like to just read. So we often have transcripts for things too, uh, especially if you are in wisdom school, you'll see that there's uh, PDFs and downloads and things that are readable. And then lots of audio and video where you can experience the channeling as if you were there, right there, that very instant. And the energy does transcend time and space. Why? Why does it transcend time and space? You can tell me. <laughs> I know you remember that. Um, and we also started our art gallery, our angelic art gallery. We actually have three art galleries now on our Facebook um, Tribe of Light group, right? Our angel lovers group. Yay. So we have an art gallery for Archangel Michael, and we have an art gallery for Archangel Raphael, and we have an art gallery for Archangel Gabriel, and I will be adding more. I think I'll add one that's just kind of general angel gal art gallery uh, for angels that aren't 
maybe there's three and we might um, add some other ones too um and there's lots more that we'll be doing that's kind of just you know light and and playful connecting with your angels um and connecting with other angel tribe people like people who are in this frequency right um at the tribe of light what we do in wisdom school is we go higher and deeper we actually have like really deep healing like ancestral healing and past life healing and inner child healing and you know opening your third eye and healing your aura and your chakras and um i could go on and on <laughs> so yeah and um and so but still keep you know whether you decide to join wisdom school now or not please come you know engage with us connect with us play with us pray with us as much as you can here at the tribe of light uh we're almost to a thousand isn't that exciting we've gone up by like 250 i think um in the last week really just the last few days so thank you and feel free to continue to invite your friends and share the posts you know even beyond michael moss of course um, and then the next day, day three, we shared seven great ways to connect more with your angels. You can get a printout of that. Um, I'm going to put the link on our Tribe of Light. So that, to get the PDF for that, it's an ebook. Um, that is, you opt in for that, and that just gets you on my email list. So you probably want to be on my email list anyway, if you're not already. Um, and if you are already, then you're not adding any new emails or anything. You're just making sure that you get the seven great ways to connect more with your angels. And that's what we call the angel hub. And it's kind of like the email community, whereas this tribe of light is the Facebook community. And then there's the YouTube, right? And there's the Instagram. So <laughs> that's about it. It's about all the social media I can handle. <laughs> I'm not doing LinkedIn and I'm not doing um, all those other new ones which the 20 year olds do <laughs> so there we go okay great oh you love the channel yay thank you amy if you love the that um short ish channeling uh that we had here you will so 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 love wisdom school if that resonates for you because there's so much channeling i would say you guys who are in wisdom school um or wisdom school graduates, what percentage of wisdom school would you say is channeled? I'm curious to hear that from a student's perspective, where it's not just me, you know, doing the talking and the teaching and the healing. Oh my, talking, teaching, right? <laughs> but it's actually like, whoo, you know, channeled straight up. I'm curious. I'd love to hear from um, Gail and Joy and everyone who's here live. What what percentage of wisdom school do you feel like is channeled? It's it's pretty high. Colette! Colette is here. Welcome, darling. And Colette, congratulations on joining Wisdom School. We're so excited to have you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Big special angel hug for you. Yay! And we'll get to connect lots and lots more. So day three was the seven great ways to connect more with your angels. And then yesterday, day four, we had Raphael and Gabriel day. So um, that was really nice to get to broaden that. And Archangel Michael doesn't mind sharing the spotlight. He really doesn't. <laughs> so um, today I wanted to share the song. I wanted to do a little recap. I wanted to hear, yay, you're excited. I'm excited that you're excited. We're all excited. The angels are happy and flappy. They're excited too. Every time someone comes into our tribe here and anytime someone comes into wisdom school and really makes that commitment even more deeply to self and spirit and sacred service. Uh, we, the angels get very happy and flappy. They just get like, wee, they're flying all around. You can, see, you can probably feel them. <laughs> Some of you can see them, sense them. They, they're tingly. It's amazing. All your clairs, clairvoyant, clairaudient, clairsentient, clairnostic are activated uh, more and more. So, so wonderful. Um, also, if anybody has any questions about angels, questions in general about angels, now's a good time to type them in there. We'll be answering your Q&A today. And then I wanted to share some favorite Sage and Archangel Michael-isms. Um, they're Archangel Michael-isms through Sage. <laughs> and you may have seen, especially if you've been in our wider circle, um, for a while by now, 
you have probably seen some of these as like images, you know, floating around on social media. I love making these pretty angelic images um, on Canva. Just canva.com, it's free. It's such a nice way. I'm not even that much of an artist, but it's, it's fun for me um, to create these. So I'm gonna share more of those. My voice is a bit soft. Ah, my voice should not be soft. Oh, I don't know why my voice is soft. Hmm. Well, I'll turn my mic off. Um, okay, hang on. Let me see if I plug in my headphones. I'll see if that helps. I'll be right back. Give me just a second. See if that helps you. to be able to hear them without screaming. All right, let me know if this is better. <clears throat> okay, is that better? Give me a yes, this is better, or no, it's worse, or same. Better, worse, or same. <laughs> now we're gonna go with your vote. So let's see what you guys think. Can you hear me better now? You can also put hearts and um, thumbs ups, likes and hearts. Is this better or worse? Better or worse? La 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 la. La 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 la. No, not better. Same. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe I can try that. I don't know if that's any better. Is that any better? Is anything getting better? Hello, 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 hello. Yes. Amy says yes. Martha says worse. Oh, no. Oh. I don't understand that. Huh. Okay. I'll just move that closer. Okay. Well, I think that's the best I can do. I do believe so. So I've maximized everything and I'm just gonna ask Archangel Michael to give great strength to my voice. All right, so I'm gonna channel him, channel speak. So you'll have more percentage wise of Archangel Michael and it won't be just 99% Sage, 1% Michael. It'll be like 50-50. <laughs> So that should help because he is much clearer, more powerful speaker than I am. Very forceful, but in a good way. Forceful and resourceful, right? So good. Let me know if it changes. I think it's better now. Okay, good. Yay. Thanks for letting me know what you needed. Good. Um, so sharing some Sage and Archangel Michaelisms. Some of my favorites. And by the way, those of you who know us quite well by now, if you have any that come to your mind, um, you can post them right here in our live stream. If you have any of our images, our memes, and you want to like, oh, that was a favorite one that you saved, you can post them. Um, I'll post some of them later on our Facebook group too. That'll be fun. Um, and I'm just going to share some from memory that are some of my favorites. So one of the first things that Archangel Michael ever said to me was one day gosh about nine or ten years ago soon after i had started channeling him and we partnered um i was having one of those very human moments where it just felt so overwhelming so much to do for for my family and for health and for the household and work and business and you know it just felt like one of those moments of, oh, there's too much to do. And I was sitting there kind of trying not to freak out, you know, kind of going into like that overwhelm vibe. And I hear his voice and I, I, you know, can recognize his voice. It's something that you get really good at in, in wisdom school, getting better at discerning who's doing the talking and which, which voices to listen to, who's, which, who are your guides and how to invoke them. And, and that kind of thing. So he says, sage, sage. And I'm like, yes, yes, Michael. 
And he says, there are really only two things you ever have to do. Just two, Sage. Do you think you can handle two? Because <laughs> he does like to tease sometimes, but in a playful, cajoling kind of way. And I said, well, okay, pray tell. What are the only two things that I have to do? And he said, they're not die and pay taxes. They are, come on, please, show up and get out of the way. And that was actually extremely relieving. So think about that, how that applies to your life. If you knew that really all you have to do is show up, step four, act on your yesings that are your blessings instead of your stressings. <laughs> show up, take that step, take that one step toward God, and then take another step to show up, even if you don't know how it's going to work out, even if nobody understands what you're doing, even if you don't know where the money is going to come from, even if you think you're too tired, even if blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter what the monkey mind says or anybody else says. You just show up. You show up. And then by get out of the way, what do you think he means by that? I know you guys are going to understand that you're going to get it because you're smart. Get out of the way. It's get out of your own way, right? Like get that monkey mind chatter, that blah, 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 those distractions and detractions gets that part of you, which isn't really you. It's just fear doing the talking or other people's thoughts and such. Get that stuff out of the way so that really you are here and you just fully show up and you trust your process. And isn't that so much more doable, right, Colette? It's like, okay, I don't have to do this list of 75,000 things a day or a week. <laughs> I don't. I just have to show up and get out of the way. And by getting out of the way too, it means listening. It means trusting our intuition and knowing what to do and when. And a lot of times the how just kind of naturally flows and follows. And we've exactly being open to guidance. We've been talking lately about flow and ease and grace. Um, so show up, get out of the way. That was one of the first Michaelisms and it has helped me ever since. There is seldom a day that I don't tap back into that and go, okay, just relax, just breathe, just trust, just show up and get out of the way. Trust it, just trust, right? So show up, get out of the way. That's one of my favorites. Um, another one, I think I told you one of the four days. <laughs> I think I mentioned it at one of these four days of Michael Moss. Uh, again, another playful teasing one because I was spending too much time on Facebook. This was like five, six years ago. And I had just been getting into the groove of having Facebook groups and, you know, running humanities there. And, uh, but I was spending too much time, like, you know, two to three hours a day on Facebook. And not all of it was productive or constructive or even positive. So, you know, going down the rabbit holes of this and this and this. Um, it's a lot of that lately now, right? <laughs> uh, so he said, Sage, Sage. I'm like, yes, Michael. And he says, Facebook time is not a substitute for FaceTime, like face-to-face -face time, or book time, meaning reading and writing time. And I am called, part of my calling is to be a spiritual teacher through writing and a best-selling author, which I am a best-selling author. Woohoo! Um, and someday I will be a New York Times best-selling author and more of a household name in the personal growth and spiritual world and community. So writing time is very sacred and very important to me. And reading time is recreational, recreational. So Facebook time is not a substitute for either FaceTime or book time. And this is, I'm going to put these images that I've made. Uh, so you can, if you like these quotes, you can kind of forward them around and enjoy them. So that's another one. 
Uh, let me know which ones of these resonate for you. Like, aha, right? Like, oh yeah, that, that makes sense for me, or I needed that. <laughs> or any other inspired thoughts that you have. We always want to hear your inspired thoughts too. Double, right? <laughs> so um, when we talked about prayer on, and the seven great ways to connect more with your angels, I mentioned this one, which is no request is too great or too small for God and your angels. And I love how Archangel Michael said, too great or too small. Because sometimes we think, oh, I'm being too greedy or, you know, that's not possible for me. And we, and we kind of diminish our own dream. And we need to not do that. We need to dream as big and bright and bountifully, beautifully as we possibly can. So he's saying it's, it's not too great. Because he wants you to know that you are great and you are deserving of even that and even more than that, even more than you can imagine. And I love how he said, you know, too small. Like, don't worry about, don't worry about asking your angels or God to help you find your car keys or to help your voice be more hearable on your Facebook live stream for Mickle Moss. <laughs> you know, something it might seem like a little piddly thing to you, but... 20 piddly annoying things a day adds up to a lot of stress, doesn't it? And stress is not good. It's not good for your health. It's not good for your happiness. It's not good for your capacity to fulfill your mission and your purpose. So God and our angels are here to help us even with those little things, right? So here's a fun example of listening to intuition. I was buying potato chips in Costco and you know as you know Costco who else shops in Costco everything is mega sized right the, the potato chips bag is you know this size the size of a small child <laughs> and I'm picking up potato chips and I'm putting it in my cart and I hear that one is torn it's no good and I'm looking at it and I'm turning it around and it looks perfectly fine I'm like but I clearly heard the voice that I know is the voice to listen to. And it said, no. And I'm asking, seriously? I don't see any hole here. And I, but I was thinking, well, maybe it's too small of a hole that, that I can't see. And then I heard lift the flap. There was like a little packaging flap and I lift the flap. And sure enough, there was a big gash like this long in the potato chips. So I told someone who worked there, I didn't just leave it for someone else to get the possibly contaminated or stale, at the very least, potato chips. I turned it into the management. Uh, but that's a little thing, right? Now, would it have been the end of the world if we came home and we ate the potato chips? Well, maybe, maybe if some nasty thing got in there, it might have been really bad. Or maybe it just would have been someone had one bite of a stale potato chip and spat it out and said, Bleh. you know. But I could avoid all that, and I also saved the $6 <laughs> by listening, right? So little stuff can make a big difference in our lives, right? Am I right? Are we right? So no request is too great or too small, and the more connected you are, and the more you trust and live intuitively, the easier your life flows. Everything flows better and just goes better. Um, another fun one is the distance between you and God is just one thought of love. So let's feel that for a moment. You can say that to yourself. The distance between me and God is just one thought of love. And let yourself have a thought of love right now. And in love you are in God. You are a piece of God at peace with God. And you're living and loving as your God essence. When you are living and loving with love as your vibration and your focus. So I hope you're really loving these. I'm going to share one more with you and then we're going to get to our giveaway. Woo! Ah, one of my favorites. Okay. Thank you. Archangel Michael wants all of you and all of us to know this. Expect 
inexplicable joy expect inexplicable joy expect inexplicable joy and go ahead and put your arms up like this like a big yes i expect inexplicable joy i expect inexplicable joy i expect inexplicable joy and how does that feel how does that feel to to really align with that that joy is on the way for you that that means that joy is something that you deserve and it means that joy is already here it opens our eyes it opens our hearts it opens our minds to experience the joy that's already here and that is our birthright because the reason we want health, the reason we want money, the reason we want love, the reason we want the right home, the reason we want the right work, it's because we want to feel happy, we want to feel joyful, and we want to feel pleasure. Happiness, pleasure, and joy. And when you get to wisdom school, look for the channeling that's called pleasure, happiness, and joy. And Archangel Michael has a lot more to share with you about how you can feel more of all three of those and they are not interchangeable and of the three pleasure happiness and joy joy is the one that's accessible to you always pleasure and happiness are more conditional and he'll teach that to you when you get to experience that channeling which is one of my favorites by the way Bye, yay lori and amy are loving this the distance between God and you is only one thought of love. How fantastic. You're anchoring that reality. I love that. That's beautiful, Colette. Gorgeous. Okay, so who is ready for the giveaway? You can say me, 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 me. <laughs> and let us know when you're ready for the giveaway. I'm going to see if there's anyone else whose name needs to be added to the giveaway and we're going to put everybody who's here today is going to get added to the giveaway as well as everybody else a lot of you i already had your names entered let's see if there's anybody else i've missed i think we have everybody yay oh oh got to add guy and man Okay. And yep. Okay. We now have everybody. Okay. Good. Okay. I'm going to tune in and I'm going to get a number. There are 15 people entered in the giveaway. And there are three grand prizes. Okay, so the first number that's coming is two. I'm gonna write that down. The next number that's coming is seven. And the next number that's coming is 11. Okay, and now I'm gonna see who that corresponds to. I didn't know this in advance, so I'm just doing this right now. Okay. So two is Monica, seven, oh, wait, that's not right. I have Monica twice. I can't have Monica twice. So I'll have to change the numbers. Seven, eight, give me just a second, nine, and eleven, twelve, fourteen. Okay, so there's fourteen people in the giveaway. Okay. Let me see if the numbers are still 2, 7, and 11. We have 2. Okay. 7 is joy. Yay! And 11 is Patricia. Okay. Now, if any of them are here live, Joy, you're here live. Monica and Patricia are not here live, but I will touch in with them later. Let me know if you're here live, Monica and Patricia 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a prize for everyone. What? Yay, of course we are. <laughs> so everyone will get a, a specific prize that I'm going to intuitively choose for all of you. And then Monica and Joy and Patricia are going to get to help pick which prize they want. Oh, Monica is here. And Joy, you're here. Okay, so ladies, um, you can choose. These are the three grand prize winners, Monica, Joy, and Patricia. Patricia Cat. Okay. Um, you get to choose a general life area. For example, love, health, mission and purpose, money, home, luck, and the last one is happiness. So just pick one of those words and then I'm going to send you a blessing and angelic gift that will support you and that you didn't already have right because that's what fair because joy and monica have had access to a lot of wisdom school goodies so i'm going to send you something you don't already have and then patricia i'll uh i'll check in with her and see which one of those themes is most important to her and then i'm going to choose a gift for everybody the whole week has been a blessing. Oh, yay! I'm so glad. Fantastic. Good. So let me know, ladies. You can message me which one of those you want to choose. Love, health, mission, and purpose. Money, home, luck, or happiness. And then I will send you your gift. And I will check. Health, money, and purpose. Okay, pick one. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Money and health, money and purpose are three different ones. So pick one, Joy. And Monica, you can pick one. You can think about it. You don't have to pick it right now. You can message me later. But you're going to get a gift on that, on one of those themes. And uh, Patricia will get one as well. So now let me check in for everybody who's here live. What gift everybody gets. Okay, so Archangel Michael says it's an audio. Oh, wow. That's a great gift. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. That's super generous. I'm happy to be super generous with all of you. So Archangel Michael says to give all of you the divine wealth debt dissolver. Woohoo! That is so awesome. And up until now, that's only been available to people who did either our Divine Wealth program, um, the Wisdom School program. You will still get that if you're in Wisdom School too, but there's lots of other goodies in Wisdom School, like dozens and dozens of wonderful resources for you there, um, or my VIP clients. So typically people paid between $300 and $20,000. <laughs> And, they, and that's who got access to that particular. It's a two audio set to help you dissolve debt, not only financial debt, but also karmic debt. I know, isn't that crazy? Um, if I were to sell that as a standalone, because I have that in the back of my mind of certain things can be sold just as an individual, it would probably be like $500. So, uh, but you guys are going to get it as a gift because you're here live. So I want to make sure I have everybody's name, everybody who's here live, and I'm going to message that to you. And so I'm going to just take a second to, oh yeah, I can do that later. That's right. The chat will still be here later. So I'm, so Amy, Rhoda, Gaia, Joy, B. Amy, I love all your comments. You're so awesome. Colette. Martha, Lori, Monica, and Martha. Did I say your name twice, Martha? 
your Jeopardy quest. <laughs> All of you are going to get access today, I'll send that to you today, to the Divine Wealth Debt Dissolver. And I understand that some of you are already in Wisdom School, some of you are joining Wisdom School today because, you know, why wouldn't you, right? <laughs> There's only one reason not to, which is if you don't have $222, <laughs> right? Yeah, uh, if you don't, then listen to the Divine Wealth Debt Dissolver. Most likely, if you listen to that on a regular basis, maybe within a few days, maybe sooner, maybe within a few weeks, you will suddenly have a miracle blessing of either $1,000, 997, so you can do your full tuition, and maybe you'll even be in time to get the private session if you if you do that, um, or you'll manifest the 222, right? Like this happened, I think that happened for you, Colette, recently, right? And when it's meant to be, either the universe gives you an unexpected miracle blessing, like, wow, look at that, that's exactly the amount I need. Like I remember one of my um, students coming to Glastonbury, that was $2,500 tuition for the Glastonbury five-day retreat, and she didn't have it at first, and then like two days later, she got an unexpected check for like $3,000. So, you know, it can happen, right? It's easy for you to manifest 222 or $1,000 if you feel called to be part of Wisdom School. You will manifest it. Um, some of you already have access to it. You just need to be creative and just take that leap of faith, right? And be resourceful. So, and in any case, I am happy to share the debt dissolver with you. The only request I would have is that you let me know how it helps you. You let me know how you do. Let me know any feedback and what that kind of brings up for you and what it brings into you, right? What blessings come toward you? Uh, because it's not only about dissolving debt, like negative of a negative, right? Becomes a positive. <laughs> but also sometimes people find that actually money miracles come flowing in from listening to that. It's got two parts. The first part of the audio is more of a prayer and an invocation. And the second part is actually a really deep guided visualization. I would not listen to the second one while you're driving. First one you can probably listen to while you're driving or doing anything. The second one's pretty trancy. So just listen to that as a treat for yourself. And it's my way of thanking you for being part of the first annual five days of Mickelmas, 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 Mickelmas. <laughs> Wonderful. So such a joy, um, and I'm going to wrap up fairly soon here. I'd love to see your thoughts of what stood out for you, not only today, but throughout our five-day sojourn here into angelic energy. I'd also love to hear from all of you what you would like to see and hear and experience more of in our Facebook Tribe of Light. And if you have any questions about Wisdom School of Light, which is our advanced angelic academy for more empowerment and energization enrichment um, and enlightenment uh, please feel free to type it now if it's a question that maybe be helpful for other people too i'm happy to answer those or you can message me and the website again for that silly me i haven't mentioned it today it's archangel michael wisdom school of light.com archangel michael wisdom school of light.com as of today if you're watching this live we do still have some of those private session bonuses but i don't know how much longer we'll have that for so depending upon when you're seeing this you'll know what bonuses are available when you look at the website and you can either choose one pay, which saves you a couple hundred dollars, or you can do the easy pay, which gets you in the door for a couple hundred dollars. Either way, it's a win, 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 win -fidity. And uh, so far, everyone has loved Wisdom School, who's been a part of it. And you will just be shining at a whole new level. So welcome, welcome, welcome for that. Yeah, so what stood out for you about Mechelbas? What did you learn? What did you like? And what did you love? Go. Tell me. I'm all ears. I'm all ears. What did you like? What did you learn? What did you love? Oh, 
my goodness, Amy, you are so welcome. It's been such a joy to have you. I feel a lot of energy with you. And I don't know if that's because you're meant to be in wisdom school or we're meant to do something else or, you know, we're soul family and we've known each other before or some combination of things. Uh, there's just a lot of energy. Like when I see your name, it's like, whoo, a lot of energy. Do you feel that too? You're feeling a lot of energy? This is awesome. Isn't that great, right? Colette says, I was about to sign up for the payment plan and then I received an unexpected check yesterday. What else is possible, right? Exactly. When we ask these questions, you know, so if you're called to be part of Wisdom School, go ahead, jump in. The water is just right, as Dale Lee said yesterday. <laughs> um, and if you can't, but you want to, and you're feeling it, you're like, oh, I want to do this. This is absolutely, this is the program for me. This is the time for me. I'm ready. And it's just a question of how. Put your how to the universe. Okay, universe, how can I be part of Wisdom School? And you can also message me. You're more than welcome to message me and I might have some brainstorming ideas for you. I, can, I can't even count. More than I can count are the number of students and clients who were able to find a way when they made that inner commitment, even though they didn't have the money at first. So there are lots of ideas. You could do PayPal credit. You can have a garage sale, even in COVID times. I've seen garage sales. People are going in garage sales. <laughs> Um, you can offer more of whatever it is that you offer, right? Just put the intention out to the universe. Like, okay, thank you, universe. Thank God in advance for whatever it is that you want to manifest in your life. Gratitude in advance is one of the most powerful forms of law of attraction that you can ever do. So give thanks in advance for the abundance on the way. Give thanks in advance for your divine right mate. Give thanks in advance for your perfect, excellent health. Give thanks in advance for your wonderful dream come true home. Give thanks in advance for our world of peace, sustainability, harmony, and people being kind to one another. Yes, yes, we're on board with this, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you, God. Thank you, angels. Yes, wonderful, it's great that you feel the connection, Amy. Martha, thank you so much. Martha says, I really like learning about the levels of the angels and archangel, the archangels, including Michael, right? Joy says, the energy is incredible, magical and life-changing. Thank you. I think you're referring to Wisdom School. That's so nice, so wonderful. And it was great seeing you at the Mount Shasta retreat too, Joy. That was so phenomenal and so, so special. And it was um, incredible having you in Wisdom School. Uh, that's great. Ah, wonderful. You are meant to do great things. You're here to do great things. You know, Mother Teresa said, we can't all do great things, but we can do small things with great love. And that's a great statement. And Archangel Michael wants to revise that. So he's revising that too. You are here to do great things with great love. You are here to do great things with great love. So you can turn that into an affirmation. Let's do that together. I am here to do great things with great love. And you can even up level it further to I do great things with great love. I do great things with great love. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Thank you so much. We love you so much. Happy birthday and mirth day. Happy every day is Michael day. And I am so delighted that we could spend this five days together. Thank you, everyone. Feel free to share the replays, invite your friends, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, sign up for these seven great ways to connect monkey angels ebook. All those things are free. And if you want to go even higher and deeper to really accelerate, enhance and advance your spiritual path and to live your purpose even more brightly and to live a life that has even more pleasure and happiness and joy too as the being of love that you came here to be come join us in wisdom school archangel michael wisdom school of life let me know if you have any questions happy michaelmas yay so let's complete our celebration our five-day celebration with happy michaelmas happy michaelmas happy michaelmas Woo! i'm throwing up the confetti Wee! 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 <laughs> And I will see you all very soon.
back here at the Tribe of Light, Archangel Michael Tribe of Light Facebook group. Wonderful. Joy says, if I could find a way for a year to be part of wisdom school, anyone who truly feels called can make this happen with our angels and guides. I love anything is possible. So true. And Amy says, love the inspirational messages, Archangel Michael channeling and winning the death dissolver. Woo! Resolve. Woohoo! Woo yes. A fun dance. A fun dance. A fun dance. Woo! You can do the abundance. Speaking as a one who went from homeless and bankrupt to earning over a million dollars doing only what I love. I am here to help you with your abundance and with your purpose. And your spiritual connection is the most important thing. Just remember that. Okay. Keep that center. Do what you need to do to support yourself, to receive the support that you need. And thanks for being part of our spiritual community here and Lots and lots of love. Colette says, I learned that our journey is far more simple than we make it out to be. That's a really good point. Life struggles beat us down so much that we feel everything is a struggle. The truth is that all we have to do is surrender and allow God to lead us through the journey and get out of our own way. Exactly. It helps to have those reminders and to be held, to be held. We are held by our angels. And we hold one another's hands in this too. And we celebrate one another. So I'll see all of you very soon. I'll see you here at Tribe of Light. I'll see some of you at Wisdom School of Light. And thanks for being here. Big hugs and kisses. Yes, I commit to doing great things with great love. Woohoo! So look for lots of great stuff coming here on Tribe of Light. We're going to have more with our angelic art gallery. We're going to have a prayer gallery. Uh, we're going to have your your Divine Wolf Death Dissolvers going to all of you who were here with us live. Um, and lots more angelic surprises, channeling excerpts, and just all kinds of goodness from Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael says we're going to have another party and celebration when we reach 1,111 members so we're pretty close we're almost to a hundred so if you like you can help us grow by inviting friends and sharing posts and spreading the word and messaging people about it and so forth and when we have one 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 we're gonna have another special celebration so look forward to that that's gonna be great you're very welcome Lori hugs to you all hugs and kisses and blisses and here's a big angel hug from me and Archangel Michael so we'll give ourselves and each other a hug. Mm. And get out there, you guys, and do your great things with great love. And we'll see you again really soon. Mwah. Happy Michael Moss. Happy every day is Michael Day. Mwah. Bye for now.